Okay, so in part five, we're going to create a variable score for this sprite only um, to keep track of the score depending on if it is touching certain objects or not. So the first thing we need to do is go to the data menu, and I'm actually I need to make sure I have my dinosaur sprite selected, and then be in the data menu, click on make a variable, and we're going to make it for this sprite only just in case we want to add extra players in this game later. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one score press OK and now I can see my dinosaur score up here so the next thing that I need to do is decide how I want to change the score and then build um, my script to make it change that way so I want the oranges to add points to my dinosaur score and if the dinosaur get hit, gets hit by rocks I want to take points away so I'm gonna go ahead and add a when the green flag is clicked event because I'm going to want it to keep track of this from the very beginning. And then I'm going to go to the control menu to start making my conditionals. So I'm going to say, if I'm touching the orange, then I'm going to change score by positive one. And I need to go ahead and add because if then conditionals only repeat themselves once, I'm going to need a forever loop around this to make sure it keeps checking if I am touching the orange. So then let's test it out. And as you can see, my score is going up. Awesome. Okay. So now I need to do the same thing for the rocks, but this time I'm going to have it um, change the score by a negative amount if it's touching the rocks. Let's test it out. So I'm losing points if I touch the rocks, and I'm gaining points if I touch the orange. It's perfect. Great. Okay. So it's up to you how many points you want to take away or give, and which objects you want to give it for. Um, but your script should probably look similar to this.